I don't know about y'all, but I like to listen to jazz music first thing in the morning. Or just like some sort of like calm, lyric-free music that doesn't make me feel like my brain is just everywhere. I don't know. Anyways, good morning everyone. Welcome to Holistic Ho's channel. Today, I'm taking y'all along with me on a day in the life as a community organizer, mom, everyday gal, I don't know. It's just gonna be a vlog and I'm taking y'all with me um, because today I have to go to the office space to finish filling up the caregiver baskets and there are a couple time frames for families to come and pick up the caregiver baskets and when I get to the office space I'm gonna show y'all um, what the caregiver baskets are like how it was all coordinated I guess and yeah so y'all gonna come along for now I'm just like slowly getting dressed both the babies are up I'm making breakfast ish just French toast with berries but it's not really like breakfast to me all I need to do is just get me dressed and get both of the babies dressed. <laughs> this is kind of like the most work of the day, I guess I can say, because getting myself dressed and two humans dressed is like a lot of work. <laughs> so it takes me about like an hour and a half to two hours. And then I also have to warm the car up and you know, all that fun stuff. So let's just take it one step at a time and eat and then get dressed. And then I will take y'all along with me. I just thought that it would be cool to take y'all along with me on how I kind of do everything. Cause one, like I want people to know what it's like. And two, I want y'all to know that you can do it too. You can do anything that you want in regards to caring for your people if you just stay consistent and um, stay loyal to the things that you do. Two babies and all, you know? I just want people to know that you can do it. It is not it's just some exclusive work for a group of people to do. Everyone can take care of their people. Everyone can do something that involves caring for one of an, one another, um, whether it's physically in the local, like real community, real world, or through the internet. So that is the whole purpose of this video. I'm really excited to bring y'all with. This is just gonna be a fun time. Are you done eating? <laughs> so dealing with these high emotions can be so overwhelming, but just remember that you are the adult in the situation, so you have to manage your emotions. So y'all, a little update of change. So I got overwhelmed and so did my babies. We're thinking about all the things that we had to do today. So I like had a little meltdown and as you saw the previous slide, they were like, my daughter had a little tantrum and things like that. Which is fine, it happens, it's, it seriously happens, but it gets difficult um, having to navigate a whole day like I have today. So Mommy, my sister came, let me get it for you. Let's go, let's keep walking. My sister came to save the day and she is helping me with one of my errands, which makes me have a little bit more of my morning today. So we're walking to the mailbox and then Later on, I'll be heading to the office space to finish up the caregiver basket. And I'm just so grateful my sister came to save the day. It is cold, cold Midwestern morning, y'all. <laughs> Hi. So we are on the road. It is 2.53, the babies got their naps in. My niece is here with us, you say hi. Hi. <laughs> she's kinda squeezed in, but she's buckled. And we're heading out. I'm not gonna drive and vlog at the same time, so I will get back on here when it's my destination. So we finally made it to the office space, and I'm gonna show y'all what I have to do here trucked along um, the kiddos and we had to stop by Target because they need to eat and the only thing close to here is a corner store and I don't want them eating chips and cookies. So I had to run to Target up the street, but I'm gonna show y'all the stuff that I need to last minute pack up and then we will wait for the families to get here. 
All right, y'all. These are the baskets. They contain a can of shortbread cookies, some fuzzy socks, holiday socks, a pack of Uno cards, and a little like satchel animal side with some jelly beans. And what I need to do is add the gift cards into them. The gift cards are $200. Every caregiver basket looks the same. We did this for the holidays. You know, um, we got a donation from Team Recess for $9,000, I believe $400. And then we added a little bit from our organization to make it a total of $10,000. So we were able to get six thousand dollars worth of gift cards for 30 families and then we um got these items and then also we run a drive and the drive contains clothes these are new small kid jackets um there's adult ones like a bunch of different sizes and then there's a bunch of diapers and wipes and stuff as well gloves whole bunch of stuff so that's kind of how we run our program for now here what we're doing today is giving away these baskets i need to write the names on here so the people who come and get them know which one is theirs and then i will add um the gift cards so they will be here any minute so i need to make sure i got their names down before they get here all right so i have the gift cards all laid out and the baskets laid out all i gotta do is write the names on it put it in seal it up and it'll be ready Okay, so I finished putting the names on them. Oh, I still have to. And now I will put down this fussy baby. Do you want to go to sleep? Huh? Yeah, you're sleepy. guys i actually didn't get to following up after we got all the baskets together because people kept coming i wanted to kind of respect their privacy and you know i had three little ones trucking with me we're home now we got home about seven o'clock we took our time and i forgot to mention also it's new year's so today was crazy busy we had to stop at one store and the store had um like tons and tons and tons of people and i don't do well with big crowds especially during a pandemic thank you for tuning in i'm so happy to have took y'all along to my crazy day and you will be seeing more videos in the new year i hope you spent your new year with peace with calm with gentleness hopefully at home if not at home then as safe as possible and a blessing